Uh, hello friends, today in this tutorial we will be building a image upload application in Node.js, Malter and Express. So basically inside it we can upload a single image or multiple images. So this is the interface if I click the choose files button here and if I just want to upload a single image I can just uh, select a single image here. Let's suppose I select this image and click the upload button so you will see that upload completed so it, this is a message. And if I check my uploads directory, one image has been successfully inserted. You can see that. Now, if I wanted to insert multiple images, I can also do that. If I select choose files here, and now if I just select three images, and if I click open here, so you will see that three files is selected here. And if I upload it, you will see that upload completed. Now, if I check the directory, you will see that three images are there. Three images were uploaded successfully so now in this tutorial we will be build, building this simple application so now let's get started so for building this application we will be uh, making a new folder here right here at the desktop so just click new folder and make this as a multiple upload you can just give any name of your choice just enter into this folder and open command line and for this I will be initializing the node project by npm init dash y so this will take the default options and create a package.json file now we just need to install the dependencies for that we, we will be needing express and malter malter is a image uploading library in node.js and apart from that we also need the ejs so this is just a template engine for node.js we will just install this so this will take some time I will not pause the video you just need to watch this so now you can see that this installing here so this totally depends upon the computer speed and internet speed after that we will be opening this inside our core editor so it is successfully installed here now we will be opening this inside our visual studio code so this has generated the package.json file you will see that guys this is a file here now we one other dependency we need to install is node mod so npm install node mod this is a dev dependency so just write dash dev here so as it is installing here we will be going back to the package.json file you will see that if i open this file this will contain the name of the project version description and let me just change the entry point to from index.js to server.js and uh, apart from that we just need to create this file which is server.js so this will be the starting point first of all we just need to import everything which we have Im installed so first of all we will import the express so this will require express second will be egs so require egs and third will be the malter And now we will start our app here express app so we will initialize express and now we will listen on the port number let's suppose 3000 or let's suppose I change this to 4000 port number and let me just make a get request app dot get so when we hit the home route which is slash here we will be getting the request and the response this will be arrow function we will be sending uh, a index egs file so just write index here that's it a extension is not required but before that we just need to set our upper uh, engine here so app dot set inside this we will pass in single quotes view engine and we will initialize it to egs so pass here ejs that's it now we just need to create a folder here views inside this we will create our index.ehs file just create this file and write something here hello save this and uh, now let me just see our uh, dev dependencies installed that is notebook now i will be just be writing a start script here start script so this i will just write here notebook server.js that's it now just save this 
and uh, hopefully if I run this this will if I run this route here home route uh, let me just run this so I will just write here npm start so this will start my application so just wait so it is starting node mon here you can see that our node server is running now now let me just go back to a URL let's suppose my port number is now different it is 4000 if I hit this route you will see that guys index is dis displaying here because I have written a index here in inside this index.egs file so oh sorry guys it is not rendering this text so for this we just need to not send it we need to render it so just render make use of render method now if I refresh it you will see that it has changed to hello here now we are displaying our EJS file so in this file we will be having a simple uh, HTML form so let me just declare HTML write HTML so inside this we will be having head a body inside body we will be having a div inside the div we will be having our form inside the form we will be having input type file name i will provide it to files and uh, that's it if i close this and a button button type will be submit and uh, the label will be upload and the method will be post here post and uh, the action will be going to slash upload and encoding type i will give as multi-part form data so this is very much necessary if you are working with files here so this will go to the slash upload route here this is a post method that's it so this is our form here let me also give a title to it uh, multiple multiple file upload in node and express now if i refresh it guys if i go back to the refresh it you will see that our form is ready now we just need to hook some things here now go back to server.js now we will define malter here after defining our view engine we will be defining the malter so for this we will be declaring a storage variable inside this i will pass malter dot disk storage so this takes some arguments here first argument is the destination so this will be a simple function which receives the request file and uh, the callback function so inside this we just need to make a directory where we will be storing our file so this will be uh, slash uploads so this directory we will not create manually we will be creating programmatically first we will check that if this directory doesn't exist by the help of file system package so i think that we haven't imported the file system so just right here at the top const file system you should be requiring it file system here so put a single quotes here now the help of this package we can just call some methods here file system dot exist synchronize and i will pass the directory if it doesn't exist we will create it so in order to create a directory in node we can just pass a function here which is uh, make directory and we will pass the directory name that's it so if the directory doesn't exist if we launch the application it will create this directory of uploads with the help of this function now we just need to call a callback function which we have passed here callback and we will pass uh, null in the first argument and the second argument we will pass the directory that's it and put a comma here and after that we will be giving the file name to the uploaded file so this will be again a function which receives request file and callback and inside this we will again call this callback function and first argument will be null and the second argument will be the original file name file dot original name that's it so pass this so now we just need to initialize malter here after defining the storage object here we will call we will be making a malter variable 
so we will call malter dot storage sorry inside this malter we will call we, there is a storage property we will initialize it to the storage that we have initialized that's it after that we will call dot array method so this is very much necessary if you are uh, uploading multiple files so here you can just pass the name attribute which we have initialized in the index.egs file comma 12 so this number you can just change this to 20 30 so this generally means that how many files you are uploading at a time i am just uploading 12 files at a time so just put a semicolon now we will just make a post route so whenever we submit the form you will be hitting this route app dot post slash upload so this receives a request and response comma next next is a middleware this is arrow function so first of all we will check for any kind of error if it is if any kind of error is there we can just return response dot send and we will be sending a message something gone wrong and uh, that's it so in the else block we can just uh, send a successful message that is upload complete that's it so if i just save this now the application is complete now if i rerun the application uh, it is saying that malter has already been declared sorry let me just change this to upload here I have redefined this variable so upload and here I also need to change this sorry guys I need to call this upload function here so right here at the top you need to call this so upload inside this we need just need to pass request response and a function which will contain the error so just wrap this inside the function here so just close this here copy this and cut this and paste it here so we are calling this upload function here of malter so this uh, expects three argument request response and a error object if any if any kind of error take place we can just uh, return a response that is something wrong wrong if uh, all good if all goes well then we can just send a message that is upload complete so if i just save this and go back to the application you will see that it is restarting it node server.js now if I just refresh it I choose any kind of file here let's suppose I select this file upload it is saying that upload complete now if I just check this go back to the you can see that uploads directory has been there and it contains a photo here if I open this you will see that a photo has been contained inside it now I can just repeat this process for uploading multiple files if I again go back to the home route and this time I choose multiple files let's suppose I choose four files to three files I select sorry guys I forgot to add the multiple tag that is why it is not allowing me to choose multiple so go back to index.egs and right here inside this make a multiple here attribute just save this and now it should allow you to select multiple files so if I choose three files you will see that three files has been selected if I click upload you will see that upload complete now if I check back the directory it will contain three images and if I just open this you will see that there is uploads and it contains three files three images you will see that so thanks very much guys for watching this video please like the video and do subscribe the channel by hitting the red subscribe button and I will be seeing you in the next video